Can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <gasps> oh, they've built themselves quite the lake. Like they're hiding something. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Please greeting. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> oh. 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 I hope this gives me game more it actually works that I just download it. Otherwise I failed. Ahsoka or oh, Hokatano, my created character, Miss Shepard. Okay, we're gonna get a cutscene immediately, right? No? We actually can explore. Damn. No music right now. No loot here. No worthless. Full of more that. We're almost done with Eden. Yes, loot. Give me. Oh. oh yeah, 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 it, it works good. Oh, new sniper, reaper. A weird name. Always oh, brass. It's the wrong button. Reaper, accuracy, sing. It's a one shot. Let's go this one. That's not my sniper. I don't know. We'll see. I like it more. There's loot here. Sadly, no music. This is safe here, right? Right. I see you. Ah, oh, that's so much better. I don't know yet what is good. I know we'll probably check that out. Off episode on the ship. Oh, the vendor. Yeah, here it is. Dual list. I'm on every time. Every time I want to get in my inventory a breast tab. Dual list. I don't see. I got damn difference in the armor looks. Maybe it's just part of the mod. No clue. Okay, let's jump in. Cutscene. No audio. Normandy, Server. the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Don't touch it. Shepard! No, don't touch. It's too. So when your male Shepard actually wants to touch it, and when your female Shepard, Caden wants to touch it. I see. And it's destroyed. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas? 
I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? It's going to be a real temptation to not draw. A Sukatano Shepard, a Hukatano, and every thumbnail. I'm okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Maybe. Force was awakened in me. Maybe. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Did I turn off my face cam? Yeah, good. Wouldn't be the first time. Hates humans. Huh? Can't be. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't oh. know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. God, I like that bad dream line. Right, Paragon. A Paragon. Right. Makes sense. We're picking always Paragon right here. I'll find some way to take him down. 
It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I wanna see if I can change outfits, casual attire, anything. Oh, I hear music coming back. I didn't even test my audio options so far. Sound. Yeah. Glad Baby. to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Dead Marines, dead colonists, and in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. Maybe you're right. Things went bad. Real bad. I still can't believe we lost Jenkins. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Oh, make sure I don't flirt too much with him by pressing Paragon options. Seems like you've been around. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Running, guys. Oh, Doctor. I never talked to you. Why change that? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. You don't know him. You don't know him. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part mm -hmm. of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Nope. We would have recruited you anyways. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I agreed, actually. I agreed. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I mean... As much as I'm a big fan of Renegades, you can't buy yourself to be a douchebag as a leader. It's just a bad leader quality. That'll be nice. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. I like what Miranda did with your room. Just saying. Um, elevator. Oh, look. What does this do? Never explored the old Normandy. It's a pretty blind playthrough after all. Huh. What's the elevator doing then? I was guessing there's no one over at the calibration room. It's going downstairs. Maybe we don't have a captain's quarters yet. Vehicle bay, squad members locker, allows you to sign equipment to you know, Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. And here? Engineer Adams, probably. Yeah. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Let's do wider in here. 
his favorite vehicle. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. This arm has glitched. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. I'm pretty sure I have a mod for that. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And anytime we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay, Scorpion. I have no clue what is good and what not. But as you can see, I can't afford any of that, so I'll probably need to sell stuff. Let it go. Black market license. There it is. Can I just buy it? Oh, black market. Did I? Does that? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely know what I'm doing. So, I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, oh, that's worth nothing. I'm just selling randomly. I'm gonna check back and do that off screen. So, oh, that I have clue what I'm doing. Ashley's. Still mad that I don't see any armor changes. Good Caden, that's okay. Everybody can be equipped down here. Didn't see a casual walker for me. We need to go upstairs. Only one elevator, which is weird. Maybe that is my quarters. Uh, nope, I don't have them quarters friendly. Codex points. Lovely. Maybe here is my quarter. No. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Mr. Choke. What's this? Probably just a door symbol. Just you alone here. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Somehow my PC is more overheating than with Mass Effect 2. It's weird. And it's a Normandy again. I guess it doesn't work in every cutscene. Ship transformation. Look at the size of that ship! The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. 
Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Use to Captain Anderson Normandy, voice for that. Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Not this time. Already have a thumbnail idea. Ashley, Hokatano, and Benesia. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Saren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Oh, everybody does. Maybe we should get rid of them. All of them. Introduce back true leaders. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. Big place. Hmm. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. This place is a little too perfect. They're hiding something. Oh god damn it, Ashley. And people wonder why you're xenophobe. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no. Thank you. One more time, Ashley. I'm gonna say it one more time. Wait, we're gonna find some aliens. Ah, uh, maps us. I'm here. No, oh, I'm here. Okay. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador, is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? With those two speaking, this will be the last 20 minutes of this episode. The uh, last 10 minutes. Uh, speak so slow. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. 
The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Yes, we are. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. It does. Actually, you're right. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I'm already bored. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. He speaks too slow. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Hmm. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Uh, uh, oh, they've built themselves quite the lake. Uh, I wonder if anyone uh, ever drowned in it. Uh, uh, this place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh, yes, speak faster. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. God. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Oh. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. God. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Mm. No, I can't. What do you do here? Modestly. I can't. Fuck it. <laughs> Sincere farewell. Oh. Good day to you, human. Enjoy Shut up. Your time on the Citadel. Shut up, Elibor. Talk to slow, I can't. Oh, God, I'm here. There's nothing in front of me. Oh, one more time, actually, say it. Well, they've built themselves uh, no. quite the lake. I wonder Not if anyone this. ever drowned in it. Not this. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, I can't listen to them. Talk. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. No. No, not yet. Okay. I'm going to give you a chance before I talk enough for this episode. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Have we met? You know who I am? 
Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Stressed out, I would say. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Even in this game, the for nailing the Asari face better than in Mass Effect Andromeda. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. I don't Welcome have a lot of stamina. For talks. Oh my god, damn, is it a big circle? Citadel, da, CSEC. Yes, this way, this way, Embassy Lounge. Oh, okay. No, shoot it. No, I don't have the stamina for those endless talks. We're done. Peace out.